Hello, Detox family. Uh, I'm Julie Boy, the founder of the 30 Day Whole Body Detox. And I'm excited because my friend Kathy is here and she's going to be sharing her story with us today. So, hello, Kathy. Hello. How are you, my friend? I'm good. Good. Um, I just want to say hi. And I'm so excited that you're open to doing like a little Facebook Live interview with me. So, tell me a little bit like, what life was kind of like for you, like health wise and what you were struggling with before you started the detox? Um, okay. I think that if somebody looked at me outwardly, they'd be like, Kathy's got it together. She's doing great. I'm a yoga teacher. I'm a life coach. I, you know, I exercise regularly. I do yoga regularly. Um, and what had really changed for me sort of in the last, I'd say, I mean, it's been happening for a while. I'm 47 now. And I think perimenopause started for me in my like early 40s, maybe even my late 30s. But the symptoms were becoming more and more regular and more and more pronounced. So things that I was experiencing that were sort of new were hot flashes or uh, sleep, like night sweats, good time. And it would happen once a night at 5.15 exactly. I would wake up and throw off the cover. Um, I... I think looking back that like I was eating fairly healthfully we eat like really solid dinners and you know we have we're meat eaters we eat like you know meat lots of veg and you know potatoes or rice or something so we had fairly balanced meals um and yeah I definitely was experiencing like brain fog like I would just not remember anything I would tell my children I'm like remind me that we have to do this at such and such time because I'll forget. And I had to have it in my notes, in my phone everywhere. Um, I'm just sort of looking back at what was happening because you warned me about this, that I would forget. Yeah. That's <laughs> what a, my life was like beforehand. That's a, then the reason we're doing this, so Kathy, uh, just wrap, you're just wrapping it up, right? You've just finished or you've got, yeah. to, you just finished. I wouldn't on. even say I've finished. I'm just continuing. Continuing. Your yeah, four week, your initial four weeks is done. And the reason yeah. why I wanted, I asked Kathy to do this as a video for us is because when you do the program and you forget what it was like before, and I did, Kathy's an amazing student. She's listened super well. And I was like, write notes at the beginning of the detox on how you're feeling. So you're mm -hmm, taking mm -hmm. your notes there. Yeah. So this is like my pre and post program checklist oh, that nice. I'm just looking at. And um, th three of my goals, well, some interesting things were like um, to reduce my perimenopause symptoms. So I had hot flashes, brain fog, and like middle weight gain. Yeah. Um, and uh, my, I wanted to lose a bit of weight. If that happened, I'd be really excited and increase my energy. One thing that I was finding was I was waking up every day and I think I would sleep a lot. I'd go to bed at like 10, 30, 11. I'd sleep until seven and I'd still wake up tired. Yeah. So I thought I was getting like, with the exception of this 515 body wake up call, I thought I was getting a solid sleep. And um, yeah, I realized now, like, it's actually funny. It took about five days of um, the like removing inflammatory foods and adding the supplements in. So I think it was only day five or day six, I slept through the night without waking up like 1030 until six in the morning. And I woke up like the first time that your newborn baby sleeps through the night. Like I was actually like, oh my God, what has happened? <laughs> like, it was so funny. Yes. And then I'm like, oh, I've just slept for like eight hours straight. And I, it was amazing. I like didn't get tired in the afternoon anymore. I wasn't reaching for sugar. It was like, yeah, it's been, that part has been quite life-changing, like just sleeping really solidly. And what I realize now is I think there's, there's a combination of things I'm sure going on, but I was a daily wine drinker and I was a really light sleeper. Like Kevin would start snoring and just like a sniffle would wake me up or I'd hear the dog roll over and that would wake me up. We have um, a teenage son that's in the basement below us. And it's like, I feel like sometimes we're in the same room because he's like playing vids at night. And then once he woke me up, I couldn't get back to sleep. And so just solid sleep. I know I'm answering too many no, things. This is so good. Time, but... well, you know, what's interesting though. It's like the, one of the reasons I designed this program initially is because we don't right. realize like the things that we just like think that's the way life is. 
right? You're just like, well, yes. that's kind of the way it is, right? I'm 47. Mm-hmm. Like this is mm-hmm. how I'm just going to feel this way. We don't yes. know that there's like another level that we just don't remember, or maybe we've never experienced. And the reason mm-hmm. I love, like, I'm a huge fan of getting people on a nutritional supplement program for sure. Like that I know makes a difference, but when you include the food program too, you were already doing movement. So that's really good. But mm-hmm. for three, yeah, three together is like what makes to, it's about, like you said, you're not finished the program because you're changing your lifestyle. And let's talk about your activity though, because didn't your, mm-hmm. your yoga actually ramp up quite a bit too over the last month? Yeah. So June and it, because as COVID was lifting and things were opening up, June actually became a very busy month for me. And so now I'm, I was teaching 10 hours of yoga a week and that was up quite a bit from May. And then I was also going to the gym three times a week and lifting weights and, and walking my dog. So I do that a couple of times a week, like longer walks. And yeah, like I just, I couldn't believe how in the evening, like normally at 8.30, like dinner's done, kitchen's cleaned up, I'm in bed. Like I'm like, good night. And now I stay up till like 10.30 or 11. So I actually have, I feel like I've actually been given more day, like hours in my day that, yeah. So it's like, and time that's like kind of precious because the kids are all kind of doing their own thing. And my husband's happy to be doing his thing. So it's like, it's kind of this special time. It's like after 8.30 or nine o'clock, I've got like an hour at least where, you know, I can have a bath or I can take some time to myself or read a book or watch a show that nobody else wants to watch with me. <laughs> oh, so I've been really I, nice. I feel you there. Yes. I love taking a bath, <laughs> except during a heat wave, but that's like my favorite thing to do. Yeah. Right, right now. Like a right now. Tub, so. Um, yeah. so my, so you mentioned something briefly, which was, you know, you're not really finishing the program. So mm-hmm. after four weeks, like, what yeah. does that look like for you? What are some of the things I'm giggling? Cause when you first, when we were first um, back and forth about this cl- detox, um, I, I was like, uh, like, I don't know if I could give up red wine. I remember. I don't, I don't know. And you know, you're not like, this isn't the first, <laughs> like, you know, and I really think like, it was just that my symptoms and how I was feeling became critical. Mm-hmm. You know, like it was like, I have to make a change. I'm willing to make some changes. I'm willing to, you know, spend some money. I'm willing to do this for myself. Um, because it just felt kind of critical. Like, I'm like, I don't want to continue like this. Like, I'm like, I'm aging. This is what aging is going to look like. And quite frankly, that's kind of what the doctors say. It's like, Oh, you're, you're in perimenopause, you know, I'm like, come on, yeah, you know? So, um, so yeah, it was like the giving up the red wine. I didn't think I'd be able to do. And the other one was sugar, which I wasn't too worried about. I, I didn't think I ate a ton of sugar anyway, but, um, and caffeine, I already don't drink. Um, gluten, I have a celiac sign. And what is the other one that I'm missing? Dairy. And dairy, we've kind of gone off because my other boy has a dairy sensitivity. <laughs> it's like, you know, some of the things were easy, but the wine and the sugar, I thought were really going to be challenging. And so I went on to it and I was like, okay, it was like not quite even 28 days. And Um, my husband and I decided we'd open a bottle of wine and it tasted really weird to me first. I was like, Oh my God, I've ruined my taste buds for wine. And it turned out he also thought it tasted weird. So it might've just been an off bottle. But the thing I noticed is like, I really noticed the next morning how I felt. I woke up and my feet were always stiff in the morning when I woke up and before the detox and then that morning I woke up and I'm like oh my gosh my feet feel so achy and I'm like that's what it is it's the booze and so I've sort of decided I'm like you know I love my red wine but now it's just like we have like one like nice bottle a week or something and that's that's great you know so it's really changed that and if you'd talked to me four months ago about that I would have been like give up red wine you're crazy and uh so that's been like really easy and the thing that I noticed was the sugar was harder for me actually Mm. so I noticed like chocolate or like if I'm baking for the kids I bake a lot I'm like oh I'm constantly like eating batter and dough balls of cookies and things so I really realized like that cut down and now it's funny it's just sort of easier to say no and the other thing that I don't think I've shared with you yet that I think is probably the most powerful change for me is I think that throughout my life, I've struggled with disordered eating. Like, you know, I've never been diagnosed with anything, but I definitely have like, you know, like I'll eat secretively or I'll like go through stages where I'm like eating like a ton of sugar or, you know, like 
I know you'd shared like an M&Ms or a, like the Eggies. Is it the Eggies? Yeah, right. So like I'll go through periods where I like, I'm just like eating those constantly. And the thing that I've noticed is that I'm like really coming around to like this idea of um, like giving my body what is good for it rather than taking things out that to punish my body into looking like how I think it should look. And it's like so much easier now because I'm like, oh gosh, like I feel so much better if I have like this delicious Buddha bowl um, or like a, like a nice warming soup on a cold day or something that's really feels nourishing and good for me rather than rewarding myself with like sugary treats or, you know, that kind of mentality has really shifted. Um, so I'm, yeah, it's really exciting. And it's, it's interesting to me to like see, you know, like this is all a bit of an experiment to me still. And, you know, to see if that lasts or like, you know, we're now things are opening up. I'm going to be seeing people more. We'll be having like barbecues hopefully and things like that. And it's like, you know, people will be drinking and, you know, it'll be interesting to see how I navigate that now that I know how it makes me feel. I, first of all, yeah, I didn't know that, that, that shift in mindset. And I think that's always been my goal. Like I have been doing this for 15 years and for the last decade I've had this program and it really mm -hmm. has never been about 30 days. It's about 30 days and then you continue. You never have to go off the program. And the reason we check in every year is because over the year, you're likely to start drinking more alcohol again and yeah. you're likely to pick up more sugar again because you're a human being. And that's kind of what happens. And that's why we check in every, you know, we do it once a year to just check us back in. And every year it gets easier and easier and easier because we've changed our habits in the way that we eat. And I think that's, what's so powerful. So I have one last question to ask you before we wrap things okay. up, which is if you were talking to Kathy from, you know, six weeks ago, who was like, no way I'm going to give up red wine. Like this is mm -hmm. no way I'm not going to do this. What would you mm -hmm. tell her? What would you, how would you encourage her to maybe say, at least take a look at the program? Yeah. I think the thing that really comes to mind is like, there's no bottle of red wine that is worth like the same. It's not, it's just not worth it. Like feeling like this now waking up clear, waking up early in the morning, having more time in my day, having more energy, not having mid afternoon slumps, not having hot flashes. Um, you know, like all, all of that, there's just, there's just no bottle of wine that's worth not having that. Oh, that's and you, yeah. And I think yeah. the second piece for me is, is like, it's 28 days. Like it's a bit of an experiment. Like I said, it's, you know, like try it. And like, I don't, I, you know, for me, like I said, the main thing was perimenopause and, I was offered the birth control pill for that. And I didn't want to go down that road. And so it's like, I'm, I'm willing to try whatever, yeah. you know, for 28 days. And just, I think it's been really empowering to know that I didn't have to do that. And I realized like that my symptoms were not severe, you know, like I was having them, they were, they were bothersome and they were definitely disruptive in my life. Um, and it feels really, really empowering. Like I said, to know that this is within my power. So if I choose now to have a glass of wine, I know it's coming. Right. If I choose to, you know, have a really rich dinner and blah, blah, blah. It's like, then I know that's okay. Then that's what I do for the day. And then just get yeah, back on. And yeah. Yeah. It feels a lot more, yeah. Like a powerful choice now, rather yeah. than not knowing that there's even hope to have something different. Yeah. I, w I should mention that we added the uh, Estro Pro product to the yeah. detox program. So, you know, Kathy yeah. enrolled in the full detox program as, as we recommend all, she took all the recommended products and we did add the uh, menopause support products because that was mm -hmm. really something that you were concerned about. So mm -hmm. I think that's important to note that, you know, that might be something that for women that are in your situation, that we add that product to their detox program, because mm -hmm. that also makes a specific, like that's specifically what's that, what's it, yeah. what it's for. But changing, you know, it's so interesting, Kathy, just because I feel this too. So I have um, a, a toe joint that has had issues. And if I have a drink the next day, yeah. it hurts. And actually that's yeah. how I found out I was completely intolerant to gluten all those years ago was that um, I didn't have gluten for six weeks, the very first time that I did the detox. 
And then I had sushi, which I didn't even know, like imitation crab has gluten in it. And so the soy sauce, like I just did, this was 10 oh, years. Oh, right. I didn't know no. imitation crab did. Mm. Yeah. I had no idea. So, and then I woke up the next day and my foot was like throbbing and red in that joint. And I was yeah. like, oh, so it's like my indicator. So like you were saying with your feet, yeah. the indicator. So that's so important to like, because it gave you a chance to figure out and understand how your body responds. And I think that's, what's so powerful about being able to make choices. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. friends, um, I just want you to know that like, everybody's going to have different results on the program. Everyone's going to stick to it in a different way and make choices, whether they continue or not after. But I really wanted Kathy to share her story because, um, to me, you know, Kathy made a decision. She stuck to the program. She followed it. And that's the, I think that's the most important thing is like, when you say yes, that you actually follow through with it. And I think that's one of the reasons why you've had such fantastic results. So thank you for sharing with us. Thank you. Awesome.